Hey everybody, in our last example we did a really quick decision in pseudocode where we just checked to see if num1 was bigger than num2. And I promised that we would in this video look at how do we check to see what do we do if num1 was not bigger than num2. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. And to do that, I'm going to start with our simple example here. I have already started off where we picked up. You can copy this down. Look at the last one, pick it up, whatever you want. Here I have this. I have an if, I have a then statement, and I tabbed indented what I want to be displayed if it was true. So now here on line seven, because this is really part of that if conditional statement, I'm going to write else. Else says, oh, my condition was not true. So I come over here. Once again, I'm going to tab in. Now, whether you use tab or hit space a couple times, that, that doesn't matter. I like tab because it's a little bit faster. Visual Studio Code actually usually converts tabs to spaces for you, so it's not that big a deal, whichever you prefer. Now, I'm going to come in here and say print number two is bigger or the same size. So once again, it's a single output statement. It's very simple. Now I could, emphasis on could, have many, many more statements in here. That's why we tab them, to make it easier to understand. Do I need an end? That's questionable. Maybe yes, maybe no. I'm gonna leave it in there just for simplicity's sake. As you see there, I put once again, another blank line just to say, hey, I'm grouping, setting up my values, my condition, and then my end. I like to have that little bit of extra space just to make it much easier to read and understand, like you see there. So it was really simple to add that else statement to handle what happens if my condition was false. In our next video, we're going to look at how we incorporate nested statements inside of our conditions. So. That means, can we have a conditional statement inside of a conditional statement? So stay tuned and look for that one.